Uh, right then guys, what we are doing today is we are installing a triple gauge um, on the pillar pod. Um, what I'm going to do is like show you how I'm going to get around doing it. I've got my boy there, uh, he's going to assist um, obviously when I get a bit stuck because obviously I don't got, they got the best knowledge on this. Uh, so what I'm going to do, have a little strip down, get it kind of ready. He's doing something on someone else's car at the minute. So um, I'm going to do what I can, what I know. Um, I'm going to strip like the centre console out, strip the uh, glove box out, um, get it all kind of ready for when he goes bam. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you the steps. It might do it in one video, might do it in two, might do it in three. All depends how long it takes. I might just do like a uh, boost gauge, how to install that, how to install an oil one, how to install a temp one. Um, so who knows, um, but yeah, let's get on it. And uh, what we're going to do is start stripping the dash out. So let's do it. Right then guys, so firstly, what we've got to do is remove the center console. So what you got to do, get your pins in there. Um, box so get them in that side do the same on this side and let's get it right guys last time when i did this i literally put it in and i went like that and pulled it out what you need to do is push it in and then put pressure on the side so put pressure on like the side like that and then pull it um and you'll get it out so well then that's that's out what we've got to do now undo the two screws which are um well right guys so that's out just got to disconnect that um then obviously there's little prong connectors that are there to remove this remove that and then we'll get to the next step let's undo this baby hey, bud. right then literally just pull it it does come you just got to be a bit There we go. It's a bit scary man, pulling the hell out of it. Yeah, it does, it does pop out. So literally, I had all my bits and pieces in there. And you got to pull up on this. This is like glued in, yeah. So it uh, does make a bit of uh, effort getting out. Um, so what you got to do, obviously pull it out, disconnect the cigarette lighter and we are gonna go off like this earth here and I think, I believe this is the power what he's just told me so uh, yeah, get this, get this out um, and then we're gonna get the glove box out. Well then guys, next step is the glove box. So it's torques there, torques there, torques there, torques there and glove box will remove, so let's do it. Right then, so glove box is out like I said four screws bam and then literally you just pull it there is a little like center clip that like holds it in so all you do is pull it and then it'll pull straight out so now i think what we've got to do is run a pipe through a grommet somewhere i don't know if it's there or where it is but we gotta run a pipe so a boost pipe and a power pipe and we're gonna go through a grommet over there so let's do it so uh literally guys what i'm gonna do is just get a screwdriver through the grommet um, I've been told, yeah, just to keep pushing and eventually it'll make a little hole, so uh, Let's go for it and just put a little hole in Just literally keep pushing through. Yo, that's mega that is Oi, that's gonna look sick. I'm, honestly, you smashed it oh. Right then guys, there we go. So Gromit has I put two little holes in it just so that um, just so that we can get the cable and that through it. Um, as you can see, literally, screwdriver. Bam, there we go. There we go, there's the screwdriver just there. Can't even see it, you know. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere there. Right then, guys. So, um, we've made the hole in the grommet down there. So. All this is off, all this is off. Now what we gotta do is remove the trim under there just so that when we run the boost line it can just literally come from there straight to there because we don't want to run it all the way across down to there because it'll be an absolute nightmare. So 
I take the trim off under there, I believe it's just two bolts, one under there, one under there, and then it comes out. So uh, let's get it. Right then, so what I've done is remove like the cap to that nut there. Um, you literally just, so there's the pedal, we'll just remove that. Um, I've got to go in the engine bay, find that actual nut, take the nut out, and then I'll be able to put the boost pipe through that hole there. So what I'm going to do, go into the engine bay, find that nut, and let's remove it. Right then, so in the L engine bay, hopefully you can bloody see this. Um, it's literally this silver bolt here. Um, all I'm going to do is get an extension. Come on, focus your git. Oh my god, it ain't going to focus. Come on. There we go, that bolt there, literally right there, right next to your brake servo, that silver bolt. I'm going to take that out and then the, and then, uh, the boost. We'll run the boost pipe from that so we haven't got to run it all around the engine bay. Um, so what we're going to do undo that uh, and then get the boost pipe and do it. Right then guys, literally what you got to do is there's a bit of foam, yeah, that's, uh, that's hanging. So I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move this out of the way. But the thread literally is there. You just move this that obviously keeps the foam in place. And then... Uh, when we come through here, obviously you can see the blue uh, hose coming through the thingy bob. So, so what we're going to do is just run it off just so it can like, come to around yeah, where these boost lines are and then we're uh, good to go. Depends if I'm going to uh, replace this one as well. I'll probably order some more boost lines and I'll replace this one for the reset valve. But other than that, it's coming through and we're getting progress. Right then guys, so pipe work is through. Um, what I'm going to do, pull off a bit more than I need. Um, I don't know why focus seems to be a bit crap today. Um, what we're going to do is this one, which goes on the reset valve down there. So we're going to take that one off um, and we're just going to replace it with a nice fancy blue hose instead of black. And these ones that go off here, the, uh, the fuel pressure regulator and the throttle body, um, we are going to change those. So, uh, yep, just literally just undo. Um, don't know if it's worth putting like a cable tie or some sort on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. So, just going to literally just wherever we plug the boost head from, reset valve, and replace that. Um, we might do a rear BCS delete, so I might just literally cut it here. Forget about that bit down there. Run a T piece, so one goes off down there and uh, go onto there. Right then, so this is the, uh, the pocket example that we're going to go off here. Obviously, you can see it a lot better because it's in yellow. Uh, so, obviously, that's where the boost pop goes in. So, obviously, to your boost gauge up there. Um, basically, because it's so much easier, obviously, like I said, pressure regulator. One goes onto the throttle body, and you know when I said that one that they just leave, literally, he's just cut it there and left it. Um, that's supposed to increase uh, boost in first and second gear, um, but do this at your own risk. I wouldn't say it's, people have said good things and bad things about it, so I don't know whether you should do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and then all he's going to do, run the yellow pipe. And then literally it just goes onto the reset pipe down there. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same as that. Reset pipe all the way around, all the way up, T piece. Then have another T piece for there and there. And then one's going off in there. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And then next time you see this, more one's going to be done. So right then guys, what we've done is we've added the, uh, the boost line. So it's literally just going through there. I've got to do some adjustments to it first but what we're going to do now is we're just going to sort out the uh, wiring so basically the, the water temp sensor we're going to put we're going to cut into this pipe and we're going to put it there so what we've done is what we've done is got a line so because it's in the engine bay and it's going to get hot we've protected the wire just so it can't like melt or anything uh, if it does melt it's going to melt this protective thing first so what we're doing is basically because the sensor is going to go there so we're just going to like position it i don't know say there there for example and then the wiring is going to go like come on you bugger we're going to go like up through here oh my god i'm having absolute nervous so we're going to go like we're going to go like up so it's going to go there we go up around there up around there around the back here and then our grommet is there so we're just keeping it protected 
and then what we're going to do is run the wire it's going to come out the grommet in the glove box and we're going to run all the way across to where the gauges are going to sit so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to poke this cable through uh, the grommet and then I'll show you where we're going from the other side of the car uh, right then guys, um, something's popped up, I've had to leave the car, so uh, I'm hoping it's not going to be too long, um, so he's going to carry on doing like finishing off and running for the wires, um, maybe cut the water pipe or even put the banjo ball in for the boot, uh, for the oil. Uh, so when you see it next it's going to be like, it's going to jump forward a bit because I don't actually know what he's going to do, um, but hopefully I'm going to run through with you guys on like what he's done and what he's used to uh, get to where he's at because I wanted to show you step by step but because I've had to leave the car and do other things I can't like film it so it's a bit shit I know but uh, it is what it is I guess and uh, well, I'll catch up with you when I'm back on the car.